And we back. Can an NBA team win a championship with zero top 50 players? That is a question we are trying to ask and answer in today's video. Now, when it comes to ranking NBA players, y'all know it is all subjective. So I don't want y'all to be mad at me. So I'm using somebody else's rankings. Fight them, not me. That's going to be Bleach Reports. They released this a month and a half ago or whatever. And they predicted the top 100 players in basketball. With number one being Nikola Jokic. And number 100 being Tobias Harris. So we could trade for Tobias Harris today. But we cannot trade for Jokic. So I need to go see who the 51st best player in basketball is. Because that could potentially be the best player on our team. Because we can't get the 50 player. Because th th that guy's too good. So the 50th best player in basketball is Chris Middleton. Then after that, can we win a championship with like a guy like Tyrese Maxey being our best player? Or Franz Va Oh, wait a minute. Um, Scotty Barnes. Okay. I did see Julius Randle. This, these are some good NBA players still. Can, can these dudes collectively win a championship? We gonna see. It's also a rebuild. It's not like I'm just picking my favorite of these guys. I have to go build that roster. So leave a like, subscribe. Let's get into it. All right, here we go. Randomly selecting our team as we always do to start off these videos. We're gonna stop at three and two and at one. We're running with the 76ers. I feel like that's the third time in the last five videos, but hey, it is what it is. The 76ers are gonna have pick number 21. This is one of the times where I'm okay with having a, a lower pick be, because we can't have the top dudes anyway. So I know that whoever we draft at 21 is going to be one of the top 50 players of ball, but I actually, now that I think about it, having a higher pick just means we get more assets. R regardless, we're going to try our best to make it work with what we got. Here we go. Trey Young, Brandon Ingram, Robert Williams, Jakob Pertl, so on and so forth. What I'm going to have to do is control F and see. I'm sure Brandon, he's number 29. I don't even know why I Googled that one. But like Robert Williams, is Robert Williams going to be considered a ride? So technically, we could keep Rob on the team. So that's fun. And I'm assuming Terry Rozier, he might not even be listed. He's not listed at all. So cool. So basically, on this current roster, we just have to get rid of Brandon Ingram and uh, Trey Young. That's not too bad. I honestly th do think that Julius Randle is going to be the best player that's not in the top 50. The fact that they have them 50, whatever it was, is that kind of surprising to me? They're predicting regression or what on whatever, whatever. I'm just, I'm going to take advantage of that because he's 55th. Yeah, you also got Tyrese Maxey too. And Maxey is also an 85. So if we compare Tyrese Maxey and Julius Randle together, we, we feel pretty good about those being the top two-ish dudes. Uh, Tyrese Maxey plays for, what team is that? that? That is the Suns. All I can hope is that these players are not hard to trade for. Only $4 million is going to make it tough. We give them Trey Murphy the third. We got a couple really big contracts on the roster, which is unfortunate. And we we drafted old. This is an old roster. You tell me, Trey Young is the youngest man in the locker room at 25? That's the best we got? Okay, we give them Gallinari. They're going to say no. Um, we also, first round pick is not very valuable. Uh, let's go reverse Trey Finder. But then again, the rookie contract is probably going to make it difficult, but not impossible. Interesting. Interesting. We dump off Trey Young and Terry Rozier, and then we get De'Aaron Fox that we can use to trade for Julius Randle. I don't hate this. This this one's probably better, though. But we don't get De'Aaron. Wendell is not top 50, so technically Wendell can be our center, and he's cheaper. I'm going to go with the Wendell Carter trade. I, I think that's the better one. Maybe. I, I mean, I don't know. For Julius Randle, they just want Terry Rozier in one pick? Or Rob, okay, I would, I would rather keep Rob. Terry Rozier in one pick is kind of a steal. Yeah, we got to do that. We got to do that. All right, I feel pretty solid. And we still got Trey Young that we can trade away. Who is the player we, we use Trey Young to get? Like DeAndre Aiden? Because I'm thinking about contracts, right? We need to go get a player that's making max money. DeAndre Aiden is making max money. Like Thompson, Desmond Bain is definitely a dude we going to trade for because he's so valuable and, and young and on a rookie deal. Aaron Gordon. Oh, Tyler Hero. Well, we got Tyrese Maxey. Skill sets are somewhat similar. All right, I think I got a good understanding of what the list is looking like. So this is interesting. Right now, they got Claxton at 94 and Chris Paul at 69. Nice. This is a good value trade because if we get two players 84 and above, even though we don't love 38-year-old Chris Paul, obviously, but this is good value compared to the other 22 trades. So we're going to do that deal. We're going to do that deal. We don't love it, but it does, again, give us Chris Paul, Tyrese Max, small backcourt, for sure, for sure. Small backcourt. Bogdanovich is uh, going to be there, but but that feels solid because we also got Rob Williams come off the bench. You know what my strategy is in a video like this. Rebounding is king. So get a, we got four centers. No, we're not keeping all four centers, but right now we have four centers on the roster. And we, we're going to keep doing Trey Finder so far has been ridiculously good for us. Aaron Gordon... 
it's definitely not top 50. He is sitting at 65, so that's a one to think about because Aaron Gordon also can play the three. He shoots the ball decently well. He can defend out there, So, and he's only 6'8". And we also get back Derek White, who's one of the better perimeter defenders in ball. Trade number four is not bad. It's the best one. It's the best one. That is an easy trade. That is a very easy trade. Aaron Gordon slides in at the three. That's beautiful. All right. We got Derek White and Robert Williams uh, coming off our bench right now. We really like those two pieces. Window Carter, even though we would love to keep you on the roster, I think we got to we gotta see you go to your next team. And even Trey Murphy, Trey Murphy the third, he's a good young piece that's going to be valuable. Lonzo's not going to be on the list at all because he's not playing in real life this season. So, dude, that's a, that's a little loophole. I don't know if you're going to use it, but that's a loophole that we know exists. Oh, wait. OG Ananobi. Where's OG? My dreams were just shattered. My dreams were just shattered. OG Ananobi is indeed top 50. That's fine. That's fine. We will still pull off this trade and we'll just flip OG. Franz Wagner, again, was not top 50. He was 52. So he, was, he, he was right outside it. And if we were able to keep OG Ananobi, I would feel really good. Fortunately, this is not the case. We keep it moving. We trade him in a first round pick and hopefully, the oh, there is the trade. No trade is gonna compare. No trade is gonna compare. Given the circumstances, Desmond Bain is the perfect guy to have on this team. You know, you, you could argue about him starting and having Tyrese Maxey be a six man. I'm not saying that's what we're gonna do, but you can have that argument. We have depth. Out, out of the world right now like we're really a deep team but that that's the one thing we're gonna have over these other ones right we're not gonna have the star but we got players that can make an all nba appearance like julius randall or an occasional all-star appearance like chris paul or an nba championship run like aaron gordon like we got people we ain't done though we ain't done if i make Derek white a point guard his overall goes up beautiful all right Derek white all right, he's our point guard. Technically, our, we have a balanced lineup right now, but again, no stone unturned. It's something we got to live by in a challenge like this. Chris Paul, we love you. I promise we do, but I, I got to see if there's an upgrade over there. No upgrade of Chris Paul. He is the best point guard that we could get given the circumstances, so that's fine. I have to keep reminding myself that I'm playing 2K, right? You know, I, I'm also trying to construct a team that makes sense in real life, but I'm also playing 2K. So like a trade like this in a game of 2K is pretty good. Jeremy Grant is, is 56 and Walker Kessler is 86. I, I, I don't love it in real life, but for this type of challenge, I think that's the deal we got to do. I think it's the deal we got to do. And then also we're going to have to make Jeremy Grant a small forward um, because that'll get his overall higher. Yep, that's exactly what we anticipated. I didn't think it was going to be that much higher, but... Yeah, look at this. Nobody in our lineup, in our rotation is an 83 or lower. That's dubs, you know? I wonder if I could get it all 84s. I'm about to go to just the 84 club and just say, hey, are you top 50? No, we got the best we could get at Derek White um, as a backup point guard and then small forward. We also got the best we could have. I think we did it. Like, this is probably the best roster you could construct just based on overalls, right? Just based on overalls. Chris Paul, Tyrese Maxey. Franz Wagner, Julius Randle, Nicholas Claxton, and off the bench, Aaron Gordon, Desmond Bain, Jeremy Grant, Walker Kessler, and Derek White. We should be able to defend with the best of them, especially the second unit that has Aaron Gordon. It has Walker Kessler and Derek White. Who is scoring on them boys in that second unit? Let's see what this first game is about. You know what I'm saying? We the underdogs, really. We oh, Maybe we not because Tyrese Maxey and Julius Randle are... A crazy duo. Oh, second game is also Julius Randle. I cannot believe they ain't got Julius Randle top 50. Consider he just made an All-NBA. He made two All-NBA teams in the last three years. They like, nah, not good enough, buddy. Not, <laughs> not good enough. We think you're going to be bad this year. But, hey, get a top 50 team with a championship. I, I can tell you we can win a bunch of regular season games because that's what's happening right here, right now. We can win a bunch of regular season games. We can't go 82 and 0, which I didn't think we were going to do. But, man, this is a very good start. And I was like, oh. Uh, we might stop at the deadline to see some trades, but we 15, 16, 17, and 2. 17, 18, and 2. Yeah, we're good. We're fine. We're fine. Can we just win 16 games in the playoffs? That's what matters. Here are the awards. Uh, Brandon Ingram is the sixth man because we traded him away. I don't know who he's playing behind. Um, is this the oldest DPOY of all time at 39 years old? Maybe. Probably. I have no idea. I don't know that much history. I, I should, but I don't. All right, so we are the 76ers. Philadelphia, Philadelphia. No. Um, we do get all defensive player Nicholas Claxton. I mean, we'll, we'll take that. We'll take that as a start. I wonder if any of our players played th their way. Oh, Claxton's really upset, by the way. 
I wonder if any of our players played their way into the top 50. You know what I'm saying? Like, we just he just had one heck of a season. And if there's anybody that would do it, Julius Randle, maybe. I mean, he averaged 20 points per game. Again, um, less than last year, but he's more efficient this year. Desmond Bain, 18. Four, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. This guy's top 50. No way he can convince me these stats don't make him top 50. Tyrese Maxey, 17. Uh, you can argue that he regressed a little bit. Uh, but it's just a, it's a lot of mouths to feed on this roster, you know. Uh, we are the two seed. I'm really upset that Nicholas Claxton is upset because they do that to him in every single 2K version so far. Where they just won't let the man hoop. He always got he always got something to say, man. Just go hoop. Game one is a win. Two is a win. Yeah, I didn't really look at that roster. Jimmy Butler is cool. K Cunningham's cool, but that was that roster already. Second round though, we get the six seed upset the three seed. They have Lonzo, Kawhi. Whoa, how did they get all of this talent? This is a lot of talent for a team that did a fantasy draft. You know what I mean? Lonzo, Quickly, Kawhi, Carl Anthony Towns, DeAndre Aiden. Man, that's okay. I don't know if they've been sick. Like, they might even make some trades to get there. Because that feels not unbalanced. Nope, they didn't do any trades. Never mind. Not that it feels unbalanced, but usually you have... I don't know, a couple of those players, not all those players. Now, maybe I'm overthinking because they were still the 60 and they are still down 2-0 to us. They are still down 3-0 to us. They did get swept by us. And a reverse sweep from the Wizards who were just down 3-0 and then won it in 7. So, we got to look out for a Damian Lillard Bradley Beal backcourt that has Al Horford and Jared Allen. By the way, I'm supposed to be keeping track. I'm supposed to be keeping track. How many top 50 players did we win or we play against and beat en route to this championship, right? Jimmy Butler's top 50. I don't think they have Fred Van Vliet top 50 low-key. They have Fred Van Vliet 59. K Connor them at 38. And that's it. So they had they had two top 50 players in the first round. Then we go against this team who has one, two, also had two top 50 players. And the team we're going against is going to have maybe, yeah, just two, right? Horford is not going to be top 50. They make the top 100. So every single team we've gone against so far has had two top 50. And we ain't had one of those things. So... I feel, oh, we lost game one, we win game two, we win game three, and four, yeah, 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 okay, we're in the finals to go against who? Devin Booker, who is objectively, oh, we even lost conference finals MVP, Devin Booker is objectively top 50, they have him, Chris Middleton, who was number 50 exactly, and then that's it, so every team we've gone against has had just two top 50 players, which as I'm looking at it, it's very consistent with real life. The Suns have three, and you know who their three are. The Bucks have three, and then the Celtics have four. For the most part, most teams have about two, so it is kind of consistent. Can we win a championship without one top 50 player, 2-0 series, 3-0 series? Come on, man, that was too easy! This is why we do this! To get Chris Paul championships. I didn't even think about it. And he got the number nine. CP3 is no longer the CP9. And we get it. That was as simple as can be. Um, I mean, if you think about it, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We had eleven different 52 100 players. We had we had over 10% of the population that's 52 100. So yeah, it makes sense for us to be better than these other teams. But I'm taking it. They couldn't have a superstar players at Jokic. Or, we didn't even go against like a bunch of superstars on this route. Now that I think about it, Devin Booker and Jimmy Butler were the two best players we went against in this entire playoff run. I ain't gonna complain. We complete the challenge. Leave a like, subscribe.